he should not just see the calmness of Musalia and things that the Western people who have got the vote, they are calm like Musalia. No. After all, they know very well after voting, it is him who will go to state house or Baba will go to state house. But the, these people will just remain the same. So we, we have to know that. Otherwise, Baba will carry the day. Hello there, welcome once again back to the Haman Manyora YouTube channel. This is the public opinion and my name is Marshall Mudo. Stay tuned, we've got a lot exciting waiting for you. Now today we begin by, are you satisfied with the deputy president choice your favorite candidate made? Mm, it has brought some complaints and um, we have to look it uh, maturely. First of all, personally, I'm looking at it as a reduction. I'm not satisfied. That is why, uh, because the three people that were there, first of all, opinion poll, Ilikuwa Inaonyesha Msalia is the best. The second, Nini, the leaders of UDA, Walionyesha Kindiki is the best. And then uh, how uh, the Kashagwa came in, uh, we cannot get the exactly explanation. And uh, right now you can see what has happened. Um, what has happened in the Western province. There is now people are undecided. Those people who are, who are for Ruto, they are undecided now. They don't know what to do. Even people there, leaders that we know were very strong on Ruto, they are telling people, Nipatia yangu na ya president we mwenyewe patiana yaku ya ule wakupigia. Sasa, that is why we are saying, still the elders of UDA and Kenya Kwanza should sit down and do uh, and know how to bring back those people or how they can correct it or else Baba is going to take the day. Okay. I will put it in uh, a summary that I'm absolutely satisfied. Absolutely satisfied. satisfied. Uh, I share the same sentiments of my brother. I am very grateful to the incoming, the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, the choice that he has made of Mother Karua because of the Mount Kenya vote. I think I'm extremely, extremely grateful. Okay, and you just joined us. Are you satisfied with the uh, choice your favorite candidate made? I'm Moses Omwenga, and I'm very satisfied with the choice that the Honorable, Right Honorable Raila Odinga made because it's a historical choice, the first time that a woman has become a candidate of a major party and it's historical and mother will bring on the table the gender, the, the women votes and also will try to woo the Mount Kenya votes because you know Kirinyaga was part of the larger Embu district before disintegration so we expect that Mount Kenya East will join us and uh, the larger Mount Kenya so I'm very satisfied and I'm proud that Baba made the right choice. I'm very uh, satisfied and uh, in fact uh, very surprised. I was not expecting that choice. So I'm surprised, uh, very expectant because uh, uh, the choice of uh, the person that my party made is one choice that uh, is inspirational. Uh, it looks to the uh, those uh, that have been, uh, we know we come from a parochial society. So we've looked down at uh, this other gender uh, for so many years, but to see that uh, my party had uh, the courage to, to call on this leader, I feel very satisfied and uh, to an extent overjoyed. Okay. The choice, I mean, Azimio, and they chose Martha to be their deputy president. So being that Martha is, is a woman, and it, it marks the first time in Kenya to have the deputy president who is a woman. That will make the coalition. What exactly do they bring to the table? Yes, that deputy president choice your favorite candidate made. My, I'm Mutua Kenya Kwanza. Eh? 
Uh, running mate ku Kenya kwanza ni Rigathe Gashagu. Eh. Yeah. Eh yeah, Rigathe Gashagu hiyo experience yake kwa civil service long 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 experience. Uh, political mobilization skills yake, financial power, good oratory skills. Con, eh, is generally a consummate politician. Mwenye tunataka unajua sasa ile kitu imebaki ni ku mobilize kura ifike kwa de Eh, hakuna mtu watasaidia William Ruto kufanya hiyo kazi. Wengi watatu, watafanya hiyo kazi lakini wengi eh, regarding Gashagwa is first among equals. Yes, Martha is going to make as a mere coalition to win the heart all the women to vote for as a mere. Yes, I see according to my opinion it is guaranteed because so many women will not go vote for where they don't see the agenda. As, as UDA, the deputy president there is not a woman, the president is not, also is not a, a woman. So with Martha, you can be almost sure you're going to... Yes, with Martha we are sure because so, so many women in Kenya, I'm sure, will vote in Azimio. Uh, for me, I will have three points. Number one, uh, I would rather not dive, delve so much on the gender issue, which many people have been peddling. I'll actually say, Martha is bringing what we call integrity. In Kenya, we have reached a point where if we don't elect people with high integrity, then we are doomed to fail. Therefore, in Azimio, the advantage that Martha is bringing on board is a woman of integrity. Number two, uh, it is now a true race between those who are known to be reformist and those who want to retain the status quo. And uh, Martha is known to be a reformist. And uh, when Baba nominated her to be a cabinet secretary for uh, justice and, and, and constitutional affairs, we understand better that everything that is actually Germane to constitutional affairs, Martha is good at it. And therefore, uh, the two points, Martha is a woman of high integrity and she's a reformist. And uh, if the, the conflict of the two can actually culminate to Azimio winning in large margin, if people outside there actually work to see that the Kenya must be ruled, must be governed by those people of high integrity like Baba and Martha. Yes. Yeah. Number three is when I can call, I can talk about the gender factor. Women are known to be part of the kitchen, uh, but Martha has proved that it's not only the kitchen that they matter; they also matter in politics. And women who are out there may actually decide and say, "No, let us also vote our own." Probably next time, 2032, 20, 20, 20, 2027, we might have a woman as a president. And uh, it is a process. Therefore, if Martha performs well, that will attract more women to actually actively participate in politics. I remember in Ethiopia, it was Ethiopia in Easter has been ruled by queens, Queen Sheba. And it was a very successful kingdom. That means that if you give uh, women opportunity to, to actually govern, they can do better. They are very sympathetic. They know the needs, the wants, and, and, and the issues that actually affect and inundate uh, women and children. And therefore, we believe in Martha as a woman. Okay, number one, Martha is a reformist. Martha has been in the struggle for multi-party, and uh, he was at the forefront of leading for the repeal of Section 2A of the Constitution that had made Kenya a single-party state. So Martha has been in this fight for multi-party. So he's a reformist compared to the other side who have chosen Gachagua, who has a tainted record from his time as a PC to even most recently where he's being associated with other dealings and even the death of the former governor of Nyeri. His image is very tainted and like mother is a reformist. So mother brings the, us hope that, you know, we can liberate Kenya from what we are going through right now and we can also 
try and reduce corruption because we know trying to deal with corruption in this country we cannot it's not an easy thing and we cannot promise that even as a Zimio government we are going to deal very fully with it but at least I'm sure that mother has no record of corruption because she's a reformist. Number two, I bring again the gender card. It's historical, as I said. It's the first time that a major political party is fronting a woman as a running mate. Uh, it has happened in Tanzania with Magufuli. But Kenya, we have always set the trends. We have seen that uh, we have a woman chief justice, and in under two years, we have made a woman a major presidential deputy president contender of a major political party. So the gender card will also play a huge factor in trying to woo the women vote because women have a larger constituency of votes. And in trying to woo the women vote, we are trying to put mother there so that at least women can try and elect one of their own. Number three, mother, mother has been a woman she has even you can, you can see mother was fighting even bbi but she has come now meaning that she will stand firm she is a woman with firm decision she was fighting bbi but now we are in the same camp meaning that we are sure that the reforms that uh, are going to take place they will be reforms that are not coerced by other people because she will be able to stand firm with her decisions in azimio and we will form the next government to try and rid Kenya of corruption and all the ills that are bedeviling us as a country. I'll uh, consider Mother the Iron Lady, Mother the Woman, and Mother the Advocate. Mother the Iron Lady, I think uh, she, has I mean, she has expressed the stamina to make uh, difficult decisions when given uh, some, some, some strange conditions. We remember when she walked away out of uh, the former President Moi. That, that that was something that not even the the the, 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 the big the, the heavyweights of that time could uh, confront Moi with. Mother the woman, I think uh, she has expressed uh, time and again what she is capable to deliver in terms of uh, justice and what a view. So she is bringing in a very key uh, woman women vote, which you cannot wish away. As my colleague captured, it's for the first time that we're having a major political party fronting such a government for, that, for such a position. So we believe uh, we'll get a very heavy junk of vote for, from women for the Azimio team. And then lastly, I can talk of Mother the Advocate. Uh, Mother Karua and uh, what the former Prime Minister unveiled in, in KICC the other day, she captured the issue of the Deputy President and the Minister for uh, Constitutional Affairs and, and uh, Social uh, Justice, you can put it. My friend, that is very key. We are living in an era of corruption, left, right and centre, any public resources being uh, be, be, from the... We are, we are having, we are having, uh, mis we are having mis mismanagement of resources, for, for per se. So we need someone who can come in. Let's say the captain will concentrate in delivery of our government projects, but also the deputy should be someone who will be very keen to attain that every resource is used as what it was meant to. Not Rigadi. What is the problem with Rigadi? Rigadi is very junior. He's, uh, he has been an MP very low. But you see, when uh, Ruto won Musalia, he didn't know the person he won. That's a very powerful person with people have got confidence in him. Yes, there is nobody who has got no weakness. You may know his weakness. But he has got also his strongholds. So on the government, Musalia would have done better and better. Or else Kindiki is informed. That's a learned person. That's not somebody who is just heavy, heavy. Now when we come to Kashagwa, Kashagwa has got one, has got a case in court. And you know the accusation of corruption on uh, Mweshimi wa Ruto ni nyingi sasa zi watu walikuwa wanatoa wanatoa kwake hata kanisa ilikuwa imemmsamea but uh, kanisa haikumsamea aendelee kuchagua watu ambao wako with these dots no he has to come out clean and tell us why he elected and loved this man because he has already in two days three days he has brought the party down he has brought the party down. Now, who will you rather have instead of uh, Gashagwa? 
Uh, I cannot say because the opinion polls on people, they said Musalia is the best, Ruto didn't take anything. Uh, the the uh, leaders of UDA, they elected the Kindiki, Ruto didn't take, he went for whom we wanted. So we can't say they advise him. We should advise himself with his elders and come out with a person that will build the party or else Baba is taking over. So are you still for the party? I'm still for the party very strong. That's why I'm talking. And if I would not, I would not have talked. We are still very strong. The Western people are still undecided. They have not gone to Baba. They are just still undecided. So Ruto should know that. Hmm? Achesa doesn't control anybody in Western province. He's his business partner. That's all we know about Ruto and Nini. The other Muzei said that he is retiring from politics. So uh, he should not just see the calmness of Musalia and things that the Western people who have got the vote, they are calm like Musalia. No. After all, they know very well after voting, it is him who will go to State House or Baba will go to State House. But th these people will just remain the same. So we, we have to know that. Otherwise, Baba will cut the day. Now that has been it from us today. Here on The Public Opinion, like, share, subscribe, and men, enjoy. My name is Marshall Mudo, and this is The Public Opinion.